okay so let's start so here we are welcome back to the series it's gonna be a multiple video series where i'll explain the uh, the workflow that we use in zbrush and uh, everything from beginners to advanced guide from interface to high level sculpting all the techniques and everything i'll uh, i'll show you how you can do it it's a kind of tutorial series so get along and subscribe if you have not subscribed yet because you're gonna miss on a lot of stuff so why do we use zbrush uh, so zbrush is mainly used for creating high poly details for the model or uh, in movies or wherever you see uh, something which is highly detailed and it is in mesh we use zbrush for that and that is industry standard software so if you learn this you can apply zbrush for this knowledge in any other software as well but if you learn this and you want to pursue the gaming industry or as well as vfx industry you're good to go okay so let's get started then so it's the first class of this series first lesson in this one let's talk about interface so when you start zbrush your ui should look something like this so this is your light box you have a pre uh, pre-installed stuff here pre-installed projects as well as tools in the tools tabs you have these z tools which is z tool as an extension you can also double click on them to open it in the projects what i do the first thing you can browse uh, all through all of them and see whatever you like whatever you don't like and there are a lot of base meshes as well which you can start from in the project as well as you can see the bodies are there doggy is there male female body is also there and in tools bunch of stuff okay so once you start this zbrush you will uh, get to welcome from this screen uh, what i do usually is i press tab so that it goes into full uh, screen mode and i double tap on any of the z project tool which is uh, in my case polysphere press f to frame press tab again and then you can zoom out i'll show you how you can zoom out so why pressing tab because now my screen is in full screen mode i don't have to go in documents and uh, zoom in zoom out manually so yeah that's why tab so if you are seeing this floor this grid you can turn on and off by using this floor uh, button and uh, you can also switch between any of these pre-existing meshes these are not primarily sculptable you have to make polymesh 3d them click on it to make it sculptable as soon as you click on them they keep rotating you can't sculpt on them soon as you click on make polymesh 3d now you will be able to sculpt on them. okay so that's one thing also if you want to turn on and off as i said it's the floor button or shift uh, no yeah it's the floor button and then it's the perspective or p you can use p to turn on and off the perspective this is orthographic as you can see this is perspective okay so coming back to the polysphere this is already sculptable since we opened the project on it so let's see uh, this is the basic interface for for your zbrush uh, top you will see the menu bar under there this is another toolbar which is a very handy you have replay last replay uh, a relative last and move scale rotate all this gives no or wer as we use it in any other software if you have used it this is our brush section this is our tools panel you can dock anything else here as well by dragging and dropping you can drop uh, you can dock it here as well also if you see this arrow is right here you can double tap on it and uh, you will get another docking kind of uh, space you can click on this button to float it around it won't float it will go away but it will just dock or you can just click on it to dock it here tap to disappear or you can drag and drop it here any of the uh, menu window you want to uh, dock you can do it so that is it 
and if you want to let's take an object which is visible a little bit better okay so if you want to rotate your canvas or look around your model you just tap anywhere on the empty space and drag it will let you rotate the model which you have here also look out for this one to look for what uh, face uh, what uh, direction you have your model is facing this is the little indication of your model you can say that or axis whatever so that is it also this window if you drag and uh, drag it click and drag it it is scalable if you are creating some complex model it lets you decide the silhouette and it's just a, a you know, it's a view where you just zoom out a bit and uh, whenever you are detailing you focus too much so that is the view where you can see your silhouette and uh, decide what is going on with the model okay so yeah clicking on the outside and dragging is a is, is uh, tumbling as you can say it's rotating the model here and there it's not actually rotating it's rotating the camera to look everywhere from the model all angles of the model okay and then press alt and then uh, click on the empty area and drag it will pan it will pan the camera like so and then again as i said alt and empty area it will pan and then you just have to release alt to zoom in zoom out i'll repeat once again clicking on the empty area will rotate your model you can look through it's tumbling and then clicking on while holding alt clicking on empty area will pan your model and then uh, while holding the same releasing alt will make it zoom in and zoom out i hope you understand it also one more important thing is as soon as this video ends you have to go open your zbrush and practice whatever i have shown you otherwise you will forget and you will come back that i am unable to do this okay so yeah practice is more important uh, as soon as this video ends go and practice the same thing that i have shown you even if it's just the interface do that and uh, yeah that's that is i guess for this video that's it for this video and we will get in more details further uh, let's just cover a little bit of extra things since we have some time it's not yet 10 minutes so this is the sub tool panel where you, you can append more tools you can have multiple tools uh, in one under one uh, z tool so that's called sub tool one sub tool second sub tool that's how you do it so yeah zoom pan uh, tumble track dolly as we say it that is important practice that tracking is panning tumbling is this and dolly is this one okay so yeah that's pretty much it then as soon as you click on other of the menu items you will get a lot of options like in geometry you can divide you can crease edge loop whatever you can go through it but uh, don't do anything crazy i will get to it eventually this is going to be a long series so subscribe for that because i'll cover a lot of stuff i'll be creating a lot of stuff and in real time i'll be teaching you everything about zbrush so yeah uh, i'll see you in lesson number two then bye bye